you did mention in the beginning uh, that sort of a diet, uh, generally low, low or lower carbohydrate diet, free of processed foods, a diet that controls your hunger mm -hmm. is generally a diet that works. Yeah. Let's talk about hunger um, and satiety on the other, other side. So is it protein or is it the fat? Because it seems to vary uh, with people. Yes. <laughs> it's different for people and I know that it's different for me as well that said it does tend to change maybe it's hormonal I don't know I haven't figured it out I mean I'm approaching 50 so maybe it, it is yeah. kind of governed by my hormones and I know that there is a link between obviously insulin and, and, and ghrelin for example so I know how to control my hunger on different days or at different times in the month. But generally, which one is it? Is it is it the fat that causes the satiety or is it the protein? Well, if you look at the literature that exists, protein seems to have the strongest signal. Mm -hmm. Now, again, what are the details? Those are in usually all higher carb kind of mixed type of, of diets. So as you go down to a lower carb diet, does that change to some degree? And does it matter where the fat is coming from? And I think the answer to those is, is definitely yes. So if you're eating a higher carb diet, I think it, it is well established that protein has the, the biggest influence on satiety, not the only influence, but has probably the most significant influence on satiety and at what level. So the average American is eating like 12 to 14% of their calories from protein. And the studies are pretty clear. If you can increase that to 25%, that you see a tremendous benefit in satiety and decrease in hunger. As you go beyond that into the 30, 35, 40%, you still may see some benefit, but the slope of the curve is much, much smaller. So your incremental benefit, although maybe some in general, is going to be much lower. Now, as you relate that to a low carb diet, does the same thing hold true? Well, there we have maybe one study, and that's about it, which suggests the protein still has a stronger effect than fat, but it's one study, it's a suggestion, it's hard to say. And you can, I, I do not want to discount the experience that so many people get when they go low carb and they add more fat to their diet that they just feel incredibly satiated. And when they cut the fat, they feel hungry. Some of that is just plain calories, but some of that is a satiating effect of fat, especially when it comes with protein and fat related foods, right? I mean, it's probably different from a ribeye than it is from olive oil. It's different maybe even from dairy than it is from... Um, just again, like olive oil being the example. So there, there are different versions of fat too, but I think there's no question fat is a, is a satiating hormone. And I just did sort of a series of um, different YouTube videos at our Diet Doctor YouTube channel about protein and satiety, um, energy density and satiety. And then I did fat and satiety and I'm doing keto and satiety to really kind of talk about some of the specifics for each, each version of that. And um, Again, to say there's one diet that's going to work well for everybody for satiety is also a little misleading, but we can say sort of in general what works. And I think having a lower carb, moderate protein, moderate fat diet is a perfectly good diet for, for satiety. Those are all relative terms, of course, but say less than hundred grams of carbs, you know, the 1.6 grams per kilo of your, of your body weight for, um, or your ideal body weight or reference body weight for protein, and then kind of filling the rest in with fat for, for calories and, and to enjoy your, your meal tends to be very satiating for most people. But you got to start and see how it works and make the adjustments as needed, depending on how you react. Mm -hmm.